hey guys welcome back again to my channel my name is doris in case you are coming across this channel for the first time make yourself comfortable and feel relaxed okay to my returning subscribers i welcome you all too i promised earlier to bring more fiction stories between Liko rose and emmanuel yes in this story we have fun we get entertained and also we learn one or two things from the story most of the stories are written by their friends just for fun just for fun okay and this particular one i came with the title is love found its way this was written by Sex by one of their friends this particular one is going to be a long story because it's from chapter 1 to chapter 30 something hmm isn't that amazing so but i'm here with chapter 1 to chapter 5 without wasting much of our time let's kick off immediately but on a quick one please if you've not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell by the side of the subscribers button that whenever i drop my videos you will be the first to be alerted okay and also recommend my channel to people out there recommend this channel to your friends to your family members to your supporters out there so that they will also come and join us the little lions the emirates the imaro shippers jump into this uh moving train jump into this beautiful channel and also get the latest gist as regards to your five either emmanuel or liquor rose chapter one Life is difficult, but I have never complained one day. My name is Rosalind Afijer. I live with my aunt and my uncle, and they've never for once told me anything about my family. Every time I asked my aunt about my family, she changed topic and told me to enjoy the free food and shelter her family is giving me. Her son is the only one that showed me love and support in this house. Her husband said my present presence irritates him. One morning, my auntie came to me in my room and told me, my friend wants her son to marry you. They are very rich and people respect them a lot. I don't want to marry now, I told her. You don't have any choice because the Umos family will, have, will be here this weekend for introduction, she said. She stood up and left and also said, you should be thanking God such a respectful family wants you in their family. She left my room and I was very angry, so I called my friends over. After 30 minutes, my girls showed up. I told them what my aunt said and they asked me, do you want to marry? No, of course, I replied angry. I feel like killing myself now and I told them. Just then, my uncle came in and said, daughter of a fool, you should be thankful to God. Sweet family like Mr. and Mrs. Omo wants you as their daughter-in-law. He walked out insulting me. Ifoma said, I think you should agree to marry him so you can move from this house. Ella said, I agree with, with her, Rose. I will think on it, I told them. Later that night, my brother came back from work and entered my room. Where is my angel? He asked. I looked at him and turned my face. Wasting now said, are you mad at me? I don't want to marry, I told him and started to cry. Chapter 2 the next morning, my brother called a little meeting to inform my auntie and my uncle that the wedding isn't taking place because I'm not happy. This is my house and the decision is final, my uncle said. She should thank her God that the Umos family saw her picture and loved it, my auntie said. I stood up and left the living room while crying. My brother came in and looked at me with tears in his eyes. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop it, my angel, he said. He gave me his shoes to hit him with it because he couldn't stood up for me the time I want him the most. I stared at him and hugged him and said, let it be. After some days, it's the weekend already and my auntie has been preparing for my introduction. I called my girls over and they came. Ella said, what if the guy is hot, Rose? Then Rose said, if he like, he should be hot like a heater. I will still hate him. Ifoma said, I know you love fine things. I looked at them and they sh closed their mouths. Ifoma and Della said, we are sorry, babe. We just wanted you to smile. And I said, how will I smile if I don't know how this guy looks like? In the evening, my auntie came in inside my room and told me to dress up because the Umos family is on their way. 
I'm not doing any makeup, I told my girls. I want to look so ugly so he can refuse to marry me, I said while checking in my things. Ifama said, I told Sam about it. I looked at her for a while. You and I knew Sam stopped answering my calls, I replied. After a few minutes, my auntie came and told me they are here and please hurry up. My friends ran outside to see the guy that wants to marry me. Few minutes later, they came back and was all smiling. Chapter 3 I glanced at them and said, You guys are running mad. If Oma and Ella said, The guy is hot, I beg. If he like, he should be like a hitter, I replied. I walked to the mirror, looked at myself for a while. Just then, my auntie came in and asked, Why are you not wearing makeup? I'm not in the mood, I told her. My brother entered and said, She's marrying him. is isn't enough for you. Nora, you can now bring her. My uncle called. We went into the living room. Mrs. Umo couldn't stop smiling when she saw me. Mrs. Umo said, come and sit next to me, my daughter. I sat next to her with an angry face. Let's allow them to discuss in her room and see if they connect, Mrs. Umo said. We entered my room and the guy couldn't stop looking around. You have a very nice room here, he said. I glanced at him for a while and responded, I know. Emmanuel Umo Jr. is my name, he said. And I said, Rosalind Afije, it's my own too. Tell me more about yourself, he said. Nothing really interesting about me, I replied rudely. He smiled and said, I like you already. I glanced at him and turned my face. Just then, my auntie came to call us. While walking, my auntie held my right hand and whispered to me, If they ask you, agree to marry him. Gave her that angry look and agreed. When we entered, Mrs. Omo asked, My son, do you want to marry her? Emmanuel looked at me and smiled and said, Of course, she's interesting. Mr. Omo asked me, Do you want to marry him? I looked at my auntie who was looking at me angrily. She doesn't have her own way, my uncle interrupted. She does, said Mrs. Omo. I looked at my girls who were shaking their head and my auntie who was looking at me. Of course I will, I said. Mrs. Omo now said, then the wedding will be next week. I shouted, next week? Mrs. Omo said, any problem? My auntie came in and covered up for me and said, she mean how will we arrange in a short period of time? Mrs. Omo said, sweetheart, don't worry on the arrangement. Chapter 4 it's been four days since the introduction took place. My friends and I walking on the road laughing and all jesting. Just then, black beautiful car slowed down. The driver started to call me but I ignored him. Before we knew it, Emmanuel Umo came down from the car. Hi girls, he spoke. Ifa Mandela said, hi Mr. Emmanuel Umo. Call me Emmanuel or Emma, he said. Ifa Mandela said, okay Emmanuel, nice meeting you again. Emma said, nice meeting you guys again too. Hi, Rose, he spoke. I looked at him and responded, hi. Can I drop you off because my mom told me to drop something at your house, he said. Ifo Mandela said, no problem, Emmanuel. Ifo Mandela pushed me near Emmanuel. We entered the car and he dropped us home. He gave me some bags to give to my auntie for the ceremony. When I entered the house, my uncle looked at me and said, I don't know what the Omo's family saw in you. I ignored him and went into the kitchen to my auntie and gave her the bags. I entered my room, took my bath and went to sleep. It's been two days and today is my engagement ceremony, while tomorrow will be my wedding, both white and traditional marriage. I called Sam, but he never picked my calls. My girls entered my room and met me crying. They know I'm crying because I don't want to marry Emmanuel and I love Sam. Ella said, why don't you give Emmanuel a chance to prove himself? I looked at her and called Ifoma to come and complete my hair. Chapter 5 Ifoma said, I'm scared to say that, but I agree with her. Can you guys dress me up? Let me do this engagement and focus. I shouted. Ella said, the guy is handsome and rich. Double package you. Ifoma said, I can say this is the only good thing your auntie has ever did for you. If you guys love him, 
Tell me, let me inform Mrs. Omo. I think she won't have problem to change me. I shouted at them. Just then, my auntie entered and said, I can see you are misbehaving because Mrs. Omo is here. In fact, his mother sent me to get you. My auntie helped me to get ready for the first time in my life. We went outside and the Emmanuel couldn't stop staring. Ella whispered to me, look how he's staring at you. Respect yourself oh, for once, I whispered back. When the engagement ceremony was over, Emmanuel's mother came to me and gave me a box full of jewelry. I see a daughter in you, she said and kissed my forehead, then entered her white car. Emmanuel walked to me and said, I can't wait to have you in my house. I mean, the house is lonely. I gave him a fake smile. See you tomorrow, he said and got into his own car and they drove off. I don't even want tomorrow to come, I shouted. Ifoma and Ella laughed and said, you shouldn't have said it when he was looking at your eyes. Or were you lost by his cute face? I looked at them and went inside my room. They followed me and we started gisting. Just then my brother entered. Ella shouldn't stop blushing and I noticed the eye contact between them. I will come back later, he said. Ella, do you want Winston to come back later? I asked jokingly. Ifoma and I started laughing. Winston kissed my forehead and said, Good night, my angel. Tomorrow is a long day and left. Ifoma said, Is there something you are not telling us, Ella? So I now said, Rule number 29 Never ever crush on your best friend's brother. Don't tell me you have forgotten about your own law. We kept gisting till we slept off. Okay, guys, this is another fiction story i just started we just finished chapter five let's just say it's just like a package that you opened yet to know what's inside it i'll be coming back with um a lot of chapters and uh, we'll know what this story entails and what it's trying to tell us too and what the story is all about but the two major characters here is Emmanuel and Lico Rose. The auntie to Lico Rose is that auntie Nora. Ifoma and Ella, as you all know, is Lico Rose's sister. So sisters, okay? So join me in this story. Recommend this channel to people out there so that they will also come and join us. This story is going to be entertaining. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be amazing. Just like other ones have been dropping. I will bring back the remaining episodes. I will bring back uh, the continuation later. Let me put it that way. And we'll be able to know what later happened. I believe by the next uh, chapters, by then the, the wedding uh, might have taken place too. And by then, Lico Rose and Emmanuel uh, will now start living like couple. I think that is where the, 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 the lovey dovey stuff will now start. Okay? But meanwhile, share out my videos, please. Share this video out. Tell people about this channel. Like, comment, so that people will come and join. Turn on the notification bell by the side of the subscribers button that whenever I drop my videos, you will be the first to be alerted. Subscribe to my channel if you've not, please. And also, remember my name is Doris. Till I come your way next time. Bye-bye.